Hello from beautiful Wisconsin. Today is February 26, 2016, and today is my uh, first day of cooking for the year. So, really exciting here. Um, just wanted to show a little video of my new sugar camp, I should say. Um, I built this last year. Uh, the blue thing is just tarps. I don't have sides on the building yet, but you can see the steam coming out from me cooking as I speak. Um, the doors are open. Kind of just went off the whim and threw a bunch of things together. I'm standing off to the side here. Of course you can see that blue line. That's my main line coming down off the hills. I did a video last year of my uh, my homemade evaporator I made. And there's my uh, hillside. It kind of goes down to the other side as well. So I got another tank at the other end. But the main line comes down here, runs right along here, and it drops right into the bulk tank. And the weather's kind of cool today, but the other day I had a couple uh, good run, good days of running, so I had a little bit of collected. But you can see the temperature, about 28 degrees. Uh, she's just starting to run now. It's about noon, so it's been pretty windy today. That's the only reason I left my tarps on, too. Kind of keep that wind down a little bit. But this is my little building here. It used to be an old scale house. Um, I converted it into like a little, a little hangout. And Datsuka house, that's German for the sugar house. But basically it's just a little building that we converted. Got a little gas stove in there. And so at night we just throw some cots in here or whatnot. And we were full intentions of uh, of uh, using this to cook our syrup down. But I guess the wife said she thought it was too nice to get it all sticky inside. I kind of tend to agree with her. But uh, the kids like the, the look look over here and hang out and and give them a place to throw some sleeping bags on so that's kind of nice and right behind there we got a an old outhouse i built and so it's like our little mini sugar camp it's just a hobby but there it is there's a evaporator i had built last year and it's going good got a full roll boil here Obviously, you could see that from earlier when I was up at, inside the building, or outside the building. I don't know if we could even see a, a little boil in here or not. Oh yeah, you can hear though. But, I had this bottle, five gallon jug there. Last year I just took some pans and punched little holes in there. This year I took a five gallon jug and put a little valve on there and that way you have a continuous flow. It's just a flat pan. I've been averaging about 12 to 15 gallons an hour on evaporation. Um, right before I started this video, I went ahead and stoked her up really good again. Probably be ready for some more wood here. But this is the inside of my uh, my little building here. Like I said, the blue things are just the tarps. I just screwed up because it's kind of breezy out today. And uh, I can't really see a whole lot. So much steam coming out. But I tinned the outside so it turned out really cool. I thought, you know, the gray and the red. Once again, I didn't have any blueprints or anything to go off of. I just pictures. But you can see the stack. As I come over here, here's my big wood pile. I got four rows and they're about 16 feet long. Um, there's their old roof jack and I had the Amish make a lot of that stainless steel, but it's all stainless steel, chimney all the way down, the whole, the whole flat pan, everything. I'll take another video here uh, later, maybe tomorrow, because it's supposed to be almost 50 tomorrow, so it's really going to run sap. And that's Jack, my old dog. What do you say, Jack? 
All right. Well, that's it for now. We'll come back later.